you want to become a really good deer hunter, don't listen to anything I tell you. Don't listen to anything anybody tells you on a deer hunting program unless they're a seasoned trapper. Trappers know their animals and these guys are the best woodsmen you will ever find. So find a trapper, ask their advice on how they set up for animals as far as scent control and scent usage and you'll become a really good deer hunter in no time. Let me show you a few tips that I've learned from trappers that have really helped me. So the first thing I learned from trapping is that scent control is everything and I really have to approach it like I'm walking on eggshells. If you put a trap out there trying to catch a raccoon or a fox or a coyote, you're gonna know really fast if you did a good job. If you left any scent behind, you're not gonna catch anything. Same thing with deer hunting. Now today I'm hanging some of my mock scrapes and what I'm gonna do is I always do is I wear rubber gloves, I take scent control to the nth degree and I try to keep this as low impact as possible. So the first thing I do is I always have a box of these sitting in my truck, rubber gloves. I keep them in a scent free container to try to keep scent off of them. So what I do is I put these gloves on, it at least keeps my human skin away from anything I'm going to touch. So I'm going to wipe everything off. I'm just going to take a few extra steps here just to make sure that I can stay as scent free as possible. Now I can use these little rubber gloves. I have the big rubber gloves. I take those too. A lot of trappers love those when they're making sets. I use them sometimes. So today I'm putting out some mock scrapes. I'm just putting some trails end in here. It's a great scent that you can use this year round. Especially get to bucks to start using these licking branches early. Real simple thing is, you know, like I said, I want to stay scent free. And I try to use that bucket because it keeps everything. I, I don't have to set things on the ground and leave more scent around. You will not believe how many trail camera photos, videos, activity I get at these mock scrapes year round, June, July, August. If you know where the deer are traveling, you can get them to use these mock scrapes anytime. So one thing I like about this Trails End scent, the Ferguson Brothers, they developed this in 1983. And guess what? These guys are trappers, first and foremost. So this does have a little bit of deer urine in it, but it also has a lot of natural oils, stuff that deer are naturally curious to, when they smell it, they're gonna come investigate it. They come investigate it, oh, there's a licking branch, they work it. It's not 100%, but it works a lot. Some people might say, hey, that's a lot of overkill, you know, wearing rubber gloves, spraying your boots, just to put out a mock scrape in July. To me, it's very cheap insurance to make sure deer know that I wasn't there when they want to come work that licking branch. So I'm just going to make sure that I get a lot of this vegetation that I might have stepped on. Hit that with some scent killer and sneak in out of here. <laughs> 